नमस्ते लेडीज एंड जेंटल एज अ पार्ट ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट एंड यू नो वेदर यू से इट एज रिक्वेस्ट वेदर यू से इट एज मोटिवेशन वॉट एवर इट इज वॉट एवर दैट I have been doing so far this video recordings or uh, whatever you say you know I also need certain kind of motivation at first place and secondly I am doing it because I wanted to give it back to the society I also spent lot of time and burn more energy as well just give that small bit of it or the you know, small part you know where you know if you could really think that yes whatever he is telling let's try listening to it and give that small bit of support it could be cash or kind or whatever it is if you can donate small bit of it my channel would be really thankful to you and i would be able to produce much better results it's a request and i also commit mistake and mistakes as well i am also normal human being please do correct if you think that i have committed mistake i am telling wrong at any place please do correct me you can always call me on my phone number 9121379100 this is what is my gpay number as well and the phone pay number also is the same if you see though i am sharing those details with you and in case if you have any suggestions or questions please feel free to send it across to the email address of n a r a d l a r a m a c h a n d r a at the rate yahoo.com or simple smith12384 at the rate gmail.com small part of donation whether it is cash whether it is kind whether it is help or whatever it is will really motivate individuals like me to do videos like this i appreciate your patience i thank again for watching my videos in advance please do like subscribe share stay blessed have a real blissful life may the guru's grace be with you all have a nice day ahead
नमस्ते लेडीज एंड जेंटल अस्श्री शुद्ध शक्ति माला महामंत्र उपस्थ्रियादि वरुण आदित्य ऋषि गायत्री छंद सात्विकट्टारिकपीठस्थित श्रीमद्कामेशरांक निलय श्रीमद्कामेश्वरी देवता ऐम बीज क्लीम शक्ति सौकील श्रीदेवी खड्क सिद्ध्यर्धे जपे विनियोग अस्श्री ललिता सहस्रनाम स्त्रोत्रला महामंत्र वशिम्यादि वाग्देवत ऋष्य अनुष्ठुंद श्री ललिता परमेश्वरी देवता श्रीमद्वाग्भवकूटे बीज मध्यकूटे शक्ति शक्तिकूटे कीलक श्री ललिता महात्रिपुरसुंदरी प्रसाद सिद्धि द्वारा चिंत फल फल व्यप्य फलवाप्यर्थे जपे विनियोग सिंदूरारुण विग्रहा त्रिनयना मलिक्य मौली स्फुर तारानायक शेखरा स्मृत मुखी पापीन वक्ष वक्षोरुहा पाणिभ्य मलिपूर्ण रत्न चषक रक्तोत्पल भिप्रथी सौम्यां रत्न घटस्थ रक्तचरना ध्यापरांबिका अरुणा करुणातरंगिताक्षी हेमाभा पीतवस्त्र धृतपाशाकुशपुष्पाणचापादिरावृत्त मयूखरहमेव विभाव भवानी ध्यासनास्थम विकसि पद्मासनास्था विकसित वदना पद्मक्षी हेमाभा पीतवस्त्र कर्कलीतलसधेम पद्मा वरांगी सर्वालंकारयुक्ता सत्त सततमय भयदा भक्त नम्रा भवानी श्री विद्या शांतमूर्ति सकलसुरनुतासंपत्दात्री सकुं सकुंकुम विलेपना मल्लिकचुंबिकस्तूरिका समंद हसीक्षणा शशर शशर चापाशाकुशा अशेषजन मोहिनी मा अरुणमूषाबरा जपाकुसुम भासुरा जप विध स्मरे दंबिका श्रीमाता श्री महाराजी श्रीमद सिंहासनेश्वरी चिदग्निकुंड संभूत दैव कार्य सद्यत उद्यद्भा सहस्रभा चतुर्बा समन्वित रागस्वूपाषाढ़िया क्रोधकुशोज्वल मनोरूपेक्षकोदंड पंच तन्मात्र सायका निजारुण प्रभापुर मज्जद ब्रह्मांड मंडल चंपकाशोक पुन्नाग सौगंधी कल सत्कज कुरविंद मणिश्रेणी कनत्कोटीर मंडित अष्टमी चंद्र विप्रज दलिकल शोभित मुखचंद्र कलंका मृगना विशेषक वदन स्मर मंगल्य गृह तौरण चिल्लिक वक्लक्ष्मी पारिवाही चल पारिवाह चलन्मीनालोचना ऐम अंगुष्टाभ्या नम क्ली तर्जनीभ्या नम सौ मध्यमाभ्या नम सौ अनामिकाभ्या नम क्ली कनिष्ठकाभ्या नम ऐं करतलकृष्टाभ्या नम ऐं हृदयाय नम क्ली शिसे स्वाह सौ शिखा वश सौ कवचा क्लीं नेत्रत्रयाय वौषटा वस्त्रा फटूर्भुवस्वर दिग्बंध सर्वोकगोत्रोद्भव से as i was speaking about the very word called kama and its importance and its definition let's look at the word kama from its literal sense akara makara akara ek kaka now how does this interrelate to sita sita's existence rama's existence kaushalya's existence kaikeyi manthara surapanaka ravana kameshwara and kameshwari first and foremost let's try this kameshwara word from the etymological point of view 
and how does it define ishvara tatva to understand this very concept of ishvara tatva as a whole one needs to get into the word and go beyond the word when i say into the word going beyond the word means beyond the sound and that is the reason why if you really see ishwara e e kara e e kara when it is added uh, with makara bija im kara it will become im kara and when we add shakara bija it has akara subtle it's a very subtle sound sha vakara wa w vakara akara again there rakara ikara ikara again here refers to the very specific sound of re re very specific sound now when this kama bija is added to this kakara akara makara akara plus ikara plus vakara here u akara plus rakara and ikara this culminates whole of the multiverse this is where the concept of srishti laya and jati happens understand this ladies and gentlemen this kameshwara word in itself is the biggest word why one may ask because primarily shakara and vakara when sha plus va gets had shwa shwakara this shwakara again how holds that primal importance for the you know the very birth of hakara bija sakara hakara vakara there are three words over here shwa sakara hakara vakara and nakara ikara and imkara is also there and rakara again ikara and imkara think about it ladies and gentlemen it's like you know that is the reason why in uh, when a dancer dances i get back to that classical dance form only again and this is where the practical importance of that uh, natya shastra comes into picture that is the reason why it is called panchama veda at the end of the day when i say end of the day or at the end of the human body when it uh, you know when it uh, 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 when it comes to this earthly existence what happens is it performs its whole of the duties as a whole 
of course this karma bija will always be there understand this ladies and gentlemen this karma bija plays a pivotal role in one's life if you are able to understand this karma bija or kakara akara makara and akara bija which is more easier for a classical dancer to understand they need not even get into the word they need not even get above the word they directly or indirectly get to understand that that is the reason why rama is the incarnation of lalita and sita is the incarnation of shiva so it is there in the shiva purana that is the name given by the seers or the you know anyone else but here ishvara tatva or ishvara it ends with akara understand this ladies and gentlemen it's a very hard coded word kameshwara as i said kama itself is a hard coded word which was uh, uh, which uh, not every one of us uh, get to understand or uh, you know really think of understanding it from a very much perspective there is a very subtle difference small difference in kameshwara and kameshwari tatva akara and ikara that's it not more than again akara and ikara do it's a subtle difference small difference but still the magnanimity of uh, that effect is more parameshwara you know uh, 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 when parameshwara ishwara or shiva was explaining uh, parvati devi about uh, his existence as a single entity he was telling one thing the very aspect of akara bija akara or akara bija as a whole again it's a very different aspect like you know when kameshwara and kameshwari both come together that will that, that effect is totally different but if you are looking at kameshwara's effect that is one aspect of it and that is the reason why if you really see people say when shiva opens his third eye none of us will be there what does that mean none of us will be there see that is what actually it's not that you get destroyed there with those uh, higher energy powers but it is about you understanding 
that you are one of the universe understand this ladies and gentlemen one of the elements of universe one of the coexistent elements of the universe one of the anu parmanu again is what you call kameshwari devi there is no second thought about it this kameshwara tatva is so complicated to understand that one needs to get to the very much intricate meaning of ikara and inkara ladies and gentlemen or end akara for everything kama is one common word understand this ladies and gentlemen in a common man's life as a anu and parmanu also if you are able to understand or distinguish the very etymological meaning of kama you are able to understand half of the tatva of ishvara seems to be confused right but still i say it is not confused it doesn't put one to uh, you know in a confusion state think about it whether it is shiva purana whether it is brahmanda purana whether it is uh, uh, aranyakas brahadaranyakas whatever it is but kama bija is common in everything kakara akara makara and akara and even this in ishwari ishwara tatva if you really see ikara plays a key role and shakara vakara rakara and akara and most importantly sakara hakara vakara when these three words merge together that's when you would be able to understand that you as a single entity i mean this ramachandra as a single entity is one of the anus of the universe that's it and that's when the third eye is open and i merge into that as a whole it's not so complicated as it looks ladies and gentlemen for a classical dancer it's more easier to understand because they play that 5 minutes or 10 minutes or they do that recitation whatever it is they present that art form they enact that but after 5 or 10 minutes what happens is again the same body which a dancer is dancing okay when a dancer dances gets merged with that kameshwara tatva and this is where actually uh the very aspect of the pre, uh, uh you know giving that uh, natya shastras uh, doctrine you know to the society is what the primary aspect was it's not about those 36 chapters at all forget about those 36 chapters 
the very concept behind producing that you know natya shastra's text is to enlighten an individual to understand ikar tatva sakar hakar vakar akar rakar and akar tatva and thus he or she whoever is performing as an individual in the end gets culminated this is what is ishvara tatva how does kama come into picture one may ask kakara akara makara akara this kama from the positive sense a dancer dances not for his or her satisfaction but he or she will have to understand kama bija here by giving its definition by giving that positive output giving that supreme knowledge bliss think about it ladies and gentlemen and same thing happens during the sexual intercourse between masculine and feminine male and female here male and female masculine and feminine are compared to anu anu and parmanu again that is a different topic all together what really happens during that intercourse wherein that kama bija again plays a key role there it is to maintain that universal effect show that universal effect that you as anu and parmanu anu plus parmanu when both come together again new anu will come again he or she will restore that dharmic cycle that's a different but topic all together again i just wanted to get that reference and i i wanted to show that reference there also if you really see this sakara hakara vakara rakara and akara bijas and ikara and makara bijas act think about it ladies and gentlemen in my next video i'll be talking about the kameshwari tatva again thus i conclude this video with a positive note stay blessed and have a real blissful life may the guru's grace be with all have a nice day ahead